Well, good morning. This is Dr. Mark Cooper again. I'm here back again with my friend Nathan, and I'm doing my uh, series of herbal infusions here. Uh, I've talked about uh, parsley tea in a previous video, and I've done one on corn silk tea. All these are to help the kidneys. Today, I'm going to talk about celery seed, ex celery seed tea. And I kind of messed up the jar here plastic here but this is whole celery seed organic and that's kind of important all right so we're gonna make this tea uh, this morning and the benefits of this it works as an antimicrobial it works as an anti-inflammatory it and it really helps smooth and and um, actually there's some properties that help make your body uh, unfriendly to cancer even a thing to do to help your body kind of eliminate toxins and it's quite beneficial and it's, uh, it's pretty safe, as long as you're not allergic to celery, okay? So um, you want to test it out. But it's good for conditions like interstitial cystitis. It's good for bladder infections. It's good for uh, kidneys. It's good for gout. It's good for any acidic condition that you have in your system. The reasons why you have a bladder in the first place is to kind of pull the acids out and eliminate that waste. This aids your body in eliminating those waste products and takes the pressure off your bladder and the urinary tract system. Um, and so it's quite beneficial uh, to help that. Or any of the teas that I've talked about, you sort of undermine yourself if you're drinking a lot of sodas or anything to have high fructose corn syrup. So if you're gonna use some of these remedies to help your system, stop drinking the sodas, go to water uh, for a while while you're doing this, okay? I use alkaline water, okay? I'm trying to change the pH a little bit and get rid of the acidities. Then I'm gonna put a little honey. I'm going to take a, about a, a teaspoon right here um, in my little teapot. Pour that in there, okay? I'm gonna put two in there, okay? And I've got a coffee grinder here, but this seed looks like it was fine enough to do it without the, the coffee grinder, but I'm gonna test it just to see if it works any better. I'm gonna put this in some coffee just and see if it grinds up any better. I really don't see much difference. Can't really feel it. So I think you can just use the seed just kind of whole like that, and then we're just gonna pour hot water in there. Okay, there you go. And that's boiled water. And we're just gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. Take one of my coffee filter pieces, container. Let's see, get it out of the sink where of my other pot. And then we're gonna pour this mixture through this. And then I'm gonna add some more lemons and a little bit of honey in my mixture because I kinda like the way honey and lemon taste. In fact, some of the herbal remedies for gout, you know, are doing this along with the uh, cherry extract, but making a tea out of it like this really pulls the nutritional value out. And this is really called, in herbal medicine, we call this an infusion. Well, we're back now. It's been about 10 minutes. We've been letting this celery seed extract tea. Let me show you what it looks like. If you can look at real close in there. You see what I mean? It's all over the place. And so we have to filter it. And I'm going to filter it the same way I did the others. This is a, actually comes from my coffee pot. Um, and I put a little filter in there and then I place this on top of another pot and then I pour it through it So we don't get all those seeds when we're making right? this is celery seed tea now again I like to add a little lemon to it. So I'm gonna pick it up and drop a lemon in there Put a little honey like I like I like a little honey now if you're diabetic you probably shouldn't use this honey Okay, if you're diabetic and you and you have kidney problems or urinary tract problems and you want to use this tea to help it then you should add a product called stevia and actually you can grow that plant yourself and you actually put the the stevia plant or leaves in the pot when you're making it in the first place and that'll help it get sweet okay so if you want a little sweetener to it and another thing you can add too if you go back and look at a previous video you'll see one where I made parsley tea or you or I've made corn silk tea you can combine these together you can put corn silk in this celery seed extract if you if you like the, the combination or you can you know do parsley in this as well so you can kind of mix and match these together a little bit so give him just a little bit give me some we're gonna see how this 
see how this tastes. All right, here we go. No, that's not too bad. It does taste. You can taste that celery meat. Yeah. What do you think? Well, it's not the best tea in the world. And none of these herbal teas taste better, <laughs> but they. But the reason we're doing it for medicinal reasons. So we're trying to help the urinary tract. We're trying to help the bladder, you know. Or if you have a gout attack, these are really good to to drink them uh, to kind of get rid of those acids, the uric acid levels. And so anyway, but uh, again, this is Dr. Mark Cooper, and make food your medicine.